Capital University is distinctive, I think, in its approach to undergraduate research because of its size. It allows it to be uh, interdisciplinary. We, we talk between disciplines. There's not the, the disciplinary silos that you'll find in a lot of different places. That collaboration comes through, I think, in that research process. The undergraduate scholarship really represents the highest level of teaching. One-on-one -on -one relationship with a faculty member, asking a question, collecting data, analyzing that data and coming to conclusions, and contributing to the knowledge base in a student's discipline, so they get to work with a faculty member and, and learn how all of the things that are presented in class, how we gain that knowledge. I am working on my uh, honors capstone project. I'm running acoustic tests here in the mezzanine uh, on the third floor of the campus center, trying to improve the acoustics of the mezzanine. I did my own research into textbooks and everything about testing, about modeling, about uh, just general architectural acoustic things. Testing involves uh, kind of specifying exactly what these acoustic problems were so that um, when I go forward and make recommendations, I know I have actual data to go back to. We have students, for example, in the conservatory who engage in projects. I have a recent honors student who developed an instruction manual for piano teachers who teach students with ADD or ADHD or autism. We have creative writing majors who create books or chapbooks of poetry and short stories. All of that is contributing to the knowledge base in their discipline, which is the way we think about undergraduate research, that it isn't just traditional science and social science, but it includes all kinds of creative activities. I have a research project working with an organization called Future Possibilities that does mentoring for middle school children, and they need to assess whether or not their program is effective, so our students are going out and collecting the data to do that assessment for them. We really try to get outside the classroom, and one great example of that is, is our very own research center that we have here at Capital University, and that's the Primer Outdoor Learning Center. And through the different ecosystems, the different habitats that are present there, we can really take students out and, and really help them to see the environment in which different organisms survive. And they can ask questions related to the daily decisions that we make as humans. Some of our projects focus on habitat loss, habitat fragmentation, um, different human impacts on the environment. Some of the best projects that I've had an opportunity to supervise at Capitol have been some of the honors projects. And I think why that works is because students start uh, a project during one semester, but they complete that over multiple semesters. We've been really trying to integrate smaller research projects or really focus on a particular part of the research project in some of our very first year courses. When our students leave Capitol, they're going to be confronted with a lot of really important problems to solve. And when they develop the skills through undergraduate research, they're better able to solve those problems after leaving Capitol University.